Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health and mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us.
Let us be grateful for all the wondrous actions of God in the month of March as we offer in gratitude our praises to God in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be always with you. And with your spirit. As we gather here, grateful, let us also be mindful that we have sinned against God, against the poor, against the earth, so that we are deeply, deeply remorseful, and we ask God for pardon and forgiveness. Lord, as a community, as an earth community, as a nation, we have sinned against you. We pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, in all loving kindness, forgive us all our sins, and may God bring all of us to life everlasting. Amen. And so we pray. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord that you may cause us, your servants, corrected by penance and school, by just deeds, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivals. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshipping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people? whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised. I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Our fathers made a calf in Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Verse before the gospel, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the good news according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, if I testify on my own behalf, 
my testimony is not true. But there is another who testified on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform, testify on behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf. But you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one who sent me. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them, even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me, except if another comes in his name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you place your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Appeal. Moses persistently appealed to God not to blaze the divine wrath on Israel. Appealing particularly to God's covenantal love for Abraham, Isaac, and Israel with the promise of making their descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. Moses' appeal to God with a creaturely disposition of sincerity and expectancies pays off. God relented. In our times, of course, we know better that the Old Testament believers have this sense of God like a human, and therefore you need to make God relent. However, we realize that God is a God of love as manifested by Jesus is not a God who threatens and plays divine wrath on the very people God has delivered from Egyptian slavery. The evangelist John appeals to a sector of the hostile Jewish audience to have faith in Jesus, who is the son sent by his Abba, God. John the evangelist appeals to a burning and shining testimony of John the Baptist about Jesus who comes after him and is greater than himself. John the evangelist further appeals to Moses who foretold the coming of Jesus and to whom the Jews place their hope. On the 27th of March, 2022, the CBCB passed a letter on the 2022 election entitled Be Concerned About the Welfare of Others. In this same pastoral letter, Bishop Ambo David, President of the Catholic Bishops of the Conference of the Philippines, makes an earnest appeal to all citizens, citing, quote, the right and the responsibility to speak out especially on the moral aspect of politics and governance. The CBCB makes a passionate appeal. Let us seek those candidates who prioritize the interests and welfare of the nation 
above their personal interests. Candidates who promote the life and dignity of the human person, protect the family and community, and encourage participation, defend rights and fulfill responsibilities, demonstrate preferential option for the poor and vulnerable, uphold the dignity of work and the rights of workers, work for solidarity and care for God's creation, call out those who use violence, money and power or other forms of cheating, those who spread lies and hatred, those who manipulate people for their own personal interests, and those who take advantage of the weak and the vulnerable. Our appeals as believers to God, to the ill-informed conscience of the hostile opponents of the gospel message, need to arise from the sincerity of persistent and expectant hearts. Like Moses and John the Evangelist, we expect God to act in view of the disbelief or the godlessness at the root of decadent and self-referential or self-serving politics. May the God of Exodus hear and respond to the cries of the excluded and the cries of the earth for justice and ethical governance. Amen. The Lord Jesus points to witnesses that show that his claims are true. Let us pray to the Son of God, who possesses the power to forgive sins and raise the dead to life. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, may we listen to the voice of the Father who declares that you are his beloved Son, to whom we must listen, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. May we believe in the testimony of scriptures that you have come not to abolish, but to fulfill, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. May we listen to the testimony of Moses and the prophets through whom God spoke to the patriarchs and our ancestors in faith about his promise of salvation, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. May we believe in the witness of John the Baptist who pointed you as the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. May we believe in the testimony of your signs and wonders that show that you are the Messiah and the Son of God, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Janet Rigor, Jeffrey Rial, Raena C., Mila Aguilar, Liana Kong, and Jason Kaimol, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the healing of Donnie Salvador, J.K., Emily Coasso, Concepcion Jimenez, Rawi Mati, and John Virtudazo, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Miguel Antonio Macuja, Alvan Mariel Agustin, Crisanto Paasa, Antonio Melocoton, Ernie Ortiz Luis, and Lorraine Aniceto Sandico, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Dominga Camarata, Rosario Melchor and family, Ray and Vicky Liao family, Wilma Manahan Gomez and family, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at JESCOM and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God our Father, you gave Jesus your Son the power to exercise judgment and to give life. Grant that we may stay with him in his suffering and death, and so share the glory of his resurrection. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, my dear friends, that our morning offering be acceptable to God, the Almighty and merciful. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. So, O God, this is the gift that we offer you, together with all the throes and pains of our people, our world. May you accept them and transform us into a new creation. Grant this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord to be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly bright and just. Our joy to always praise and give you thanks. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raised up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise, you, praise your majesty, dominion adores, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices be prayed, join with theirs, in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. So, O oh God, as we gather in worship, we ask for the outpouring of your Spirit on all humankind, on our earth community, on this bread and wine that we offer. May you bless them to become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At supper, the Lord Jesus took take the bread, said the blessing, broke it, gave it to all his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice fell with the fruit of the vine, the Lord Jesus gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. This blood is shed for the forgiveness of sins, the healing of relationships. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save when we eat this bread and, and drink, drink this, this cup, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead, we proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. As we await his coming in glory, we offer to you the body and blood of Jesus, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the entire world. Lord, look upon the sacrifice which you yourself had provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by your Holy Spirit. We may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise and glory of your name. Therefore, Lord, we ask you to remember now all for whom we offer this Eucharist, especially your servant, Pope Francis, Onesto, our bishops, the whole order of bishops and superior generals, all the baptized, consecrated, and ordained for your service. Remember also those who have died in the peace of Christ and those who are breathing their last as we pray now. May they enter your glory and enjoy the eternal bliss in the heavenly presence. To all of us, your daughters and sons, grant, O merciful God, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom. There, with the entire creation, 
freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world all that is good. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's turn to our God as we pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every form of violence, discrimination, and corruption. Graciously grant peace and justice in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I offer you. Look not on what we fail to do, but look on the deep love we have for you. May you grant us that peace that lasts forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of God be always with you. And, and with, with your you. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is our Lord Jesus, who respond to our earnest appeal. Happy are we who are called to this supper. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord Jesus, may you come, may you indwell in our hearts, may you bring the entire humankind and earth community to life everlasting. Amen. 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 Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May this celebration, O Lord, continue to sustain us, knowing that you indwell in our hearts, that when we appeal to you in earnestness and sincerity, you always respond to our needs in your time, in your ways. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
the Lord is with you. And with your spirit. May the God who gathers in celebration send us forth with blessings in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been celebrated. Let's go forth glorifying God. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God. Thank you.